George Spicer Year 2, Miss Buckley here again with another writing video. So this week your pack has been on explorers, which is really exciting, looking at different lands, different ways we can go and see them, different ways we can explore, and hopefully you've done some lovely reading and some maths and some spag all about how fantastic and exciting it is to be an explorer. So today's writing is about explorers, and we're going to be writing a diary entry all about our own expedition and something that we have done as if we were an explorer. So we need to put our explorer hats on, get our explorer binoculars out and imagine that we are explorers, okay? So before we write all about our fantastic expedition and things that we have been exploring and looking at, the first thing we need to do is work out where we've been. So, you can have a look at a map in your home if you want to, you can just think about it in your imagination. I'm about to show you a special adventure treasure map that I have found with all different places. And you're going to have a look at this map and decide where do you want to go on your adventure? Where are you going to write about? What has your explorer mind been doing and where? So let's have a look at our potential adventure map and decide where we would like to go. Now this map gives us loads of options. We can go up into the mountains, to the snowy capped mountains, maybe next to it into the farm, off to see the sheep, down the beautiful stream around the tall palm trees, off to see the pyramids. Maybe we want to go into the big city. That would be a fantastic place to explore. Maybe into the ocean, to the rocks, down to the beach. Have a little look at this map here and have a think about where you would like to write your diary entry from. Where are you gonna have your adventure? Have a look at this. Okay, so now you've had a look at the map and hopefully decided where you want to go, you need to start thinking about some key questions that your diary entry needs to answer. So the first question is, what would you like to search for when you're there? What are you exploring? What are you trying to find? Because that's a really important part of being an explorer. What exactly are you trying to achieve? So have a think about that. What animals might you find? What people might you find? What type of nature might you find? Have a think about that. This is your opportunity to be really creative. What could be there? And think about, it has to make sense. So if you've decided to go exploring in the mountains, you're not exactly gonna see fish. So think about what you're gonna see and make it make sense with your fantastic exploring, okay? How will you get there? What mode of transport are you gonna use? Are you gonna fly? Use a hot air balloon? Are you gonna go by boat? Are you gonna swim? How are you gonna explore? How are you gonna get there? What did you pack in your bag? It's really important for explorers to have everything that they need in their bag, so what did you pack in your bag? Um, how long might it take to get there? Are there going to be any dangers on the way? That would make your writing really exciting. What is there that might be dangerous on the way? What animals might you see that may be dangerous? Or is there awful weather or something like that? What could be there to make it dangerous? And then how do you feel about the journey? It's really important if you're writing a diary entry, how are you feeling? Are you feeling excited, nervous, filled with anticipation, terrified? How are you feeling when you're going on this journey? So have a think about those things, okay? Now, we know what we're going to be thinking about as we're doing it. We're going to have a look at the features of a diary entry. So what I want to see and what the year two teachers want to see in your diary entry. So here are the key things that your diary entry needs to show. It needs to say, dear diary at the top, because that shows it's a diary entry. So dear diary, today I'm about to go on an amazing adventure then you need to have the date as well, because if somebody was to find your Fantastic Explorer diary in the future, they would want to know when it was written. For example, when we did diaries, when we did The Great Fire of London, Samuel Pepys's diary is dated, isn't it, 1666, so we know it's all about the Fire of London and it's really useful for us and we did all of our learning for him. So think about it, if your diary was found, you've got to get that date on there. Then the first person, we did this last week as well, which is really great. So first person, I, me, we, you are doing it. I couldn't believe what I saw. I was feeling excited. So get that I in there, really important. And then your feelings. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about all of these things? You, as I said before, excited, nervous, elated by what you have found devastated that when you got there it wasn't where you thought it was going to be. Think about all these feelings that you're going to be feeling as you're doing your adventure, okay? 
Right, before we get started on writing our fantastic diary entries, I've written a few sentences that I think are superb, but hopefully are going to help you with your writing. However, on second glance, I think I've made some mistakes. So I need your help. How can you help me make my sentences better? I know you can all do this, you're fantastic at this. So have a look, how can you make my sentences better? So I have written four superb sentences that I think that I should definitely use in my diary entry. Oh, actually, I don't think that I have. Can you notice any of my mistakes? Can you see any of the problems that I have in my sentences? Also, how could I make these better? The mountains were big. That's an okay sentence. How could I make it stronger? Could I describe the mountains? Could I find a stronger word to use than big? Have a look at these four sentences. How could you make them better? Improve them with better punctuation, structure and vocabulary. Brilliant, you should all now have corrected my sentences. I really should have known better, but well done. Hopefully you've got some great punctuation, you've got some nice vocabulary in there, and you've made some diary features in there, which would make your writing fantastic. But before you get going, let's have a quick look at my modelled write to hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration and some help before you start. And remember, writing can always be improved. So if you see a way you can improve my writing, fantastic. Make sure you get it in yours. Let's have a look at mine. So here we have the modelled write for you to have a little look at and that will hopefully give you some inspiration for your Explorer diary entries. Now I've got the date at the top of when I wrote this because that's really important when you're writing a diary. So if anybody ever finds it, they know what year and what date you wrote it in. So let's have a look. Let's see what I've written. <clears throat> Dear diary, my name is Miss Buckley and I am a world famous explorer. I'm about to embark on a treacherous journey into the mountains to try and discover a brand new breed of eagle. I have been searching far and wide to find the perfect mountain range and finally I have located it. It is going to be a long journey but I'm filled with anticipation and excitement. I have packed my bag many times because I need to make sure I have everything I need. In my pack, I have my binoculars and my special whistle that should attract the eagle when I blow it. However, I must be careful not to frighten the eagle. I am taking the plane tomorrow morning which will guide me into the mountainous wilderness and there my journey shall begin. So, how could you use this to help you with your writing? What are you going up to do? Where are you going? Are you going into the mountains? Are you going to the beach? Have a think about where you are going. Well now it's your turn, off you go explorers. We've had a look at my model drive, we've had a look at all the features of a diary, and now it's your turn to write something truly fantastic. I can't wait to see them. I know that your two teachers can't wait. I can't wait to see what adventure you're gonna take us on this week with your fantastic exploring. So good luck, explorer hats on, explorer binoculars out, get writing. I'll see you later, bye.